Alright, so here I want to show the one wire relay bypass. So I'm going to take this relay, pull it out. This is actually for the PCM for the vehicle. I'll pull that out and I'll try to start it just so you can see that it doesn't start. So that relay controls the PCM, so that's not turning the computer on, it doesn't let the fuel pump run, or anything like that. So basically this wire is just going to bypass and do what the relay would be doing if it was activated. So I'm going to take this terminal, put it in here, and this is actually uh, a constant 12 volt from the battery. And what this is going to be doing when I put it in here is giving power to the PCM. So when I hook this up, I can actually hear the fuel pump priming. A couple other clicks and relays being activated because the computer's on now. So that is the single wire relay bypass. All right, now to show what's happening here, my black multimeter lead hooked up to this terminal. I'll take my red lead and put it over here on the positive on the battery. See the multimeter shows battery voltage at 12.45 volts. So all that little jumper is doing is jumping from the 87 terminal to the 30 terminal on the relay and that's what's feeding power back to the PCM. And obviously I wouldn't recommend doing this for a long-term solution but this would be uh, in an emergency situation or a situation where you needed to, to test something. Maybe you had a bad fuel pump relay and you didn't have a second vehicle and you needed to drive to the auto parts store quick to pick up a relay, something like that. And for a little bit better understanding on how this relay and how this circuit works, check out my video on automotive relays and how they work, and hopefully you'll understand this circuitry a little bit better.